Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. What is your shadow work for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021? Um, so, Sagittarius, I'm doing something a little different. Um, um, so, I hope you guys like it. Um, so, we're going to take a look at your shadow work, your sa shadow side, see what that is. Uh, we'll pull some Oracle just to get some you know, over our view messages, and then we'll use uh, the tarot to clarify, okay? Um, so you may apply this to yourself or apply it to someone that you know, or you could apply it to both. So we all have our shadow sides that we need to work on. So let's take a look to see what yours is, Sagittarius. Um, so this is, like I said, this is something completely new that I'm doing. Uh, I used to use uh, oracles in my readings, uh, personal readings in the past, but I stopped it for a while. So let me know if you want me to uh, apply this to my readings from now on. Uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comment section below if, you, if this resonated with you. Share this with someone. Like this video. Um, also, um, you know, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, uh, and um, if you're interested uh, in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, Sag, let's get started here. All right, tell me about Sagittarius's shadow side. What is Sagittarius's shadow side, shadow work that they need to do? So this is usually things that you're aware of or things that you're not aware of. And it goes deep, um, you know, it goes deep uh, with your parents, grandparents, generational, uh, ancestral. So we'll see what that is, okay? What is Sagittarius's shadow work, their shadow side for September 2021? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Sagittarius. Okay, we have Feeling Alone. So we this is a red border. So this speaks of the root chakra. This is on our base. So this speaks of our safety, home life, money. I, you know, this is where all of our traumas are stored to Sagittarius, okay? So let's get three cards here. So heal. So this is like the star card uh, in the tarot. Um, so that is Aquarian energy, base chakra. So Sagittarius, I'm getting a feeling that you've gone through a lot of trauma in your life. A lot of trauma that you haven't really unwound or perhaps even spoke of. I feel like you've kept that buried internally for a very, very, very long time. And I feel like you're not dealing with it by escaping. Perhaps, you know, self-indulging, drinking, doing drugs, something along those lines. You see? So I feel like there are a lot of unhealthy attachments and I feel like the unhealthy attachments really comes from um, the lack of safety that you had in your past um, with family, friends, uh, lovers, uh, perhaps bosses. I feel like there's a lack of self-love here for someone. So like I said, Saj, you could apply this to yourself. You could apply this to someone that you know. This is a general reading, yeah? So let's see what else we have for you here. Let's get two for heal. Why is heal here? Why is heal here? Strength. 
I do feel like there is some sort of fragileness to someone here. There's a lack of self-confidence. I feel like someone here just doesn't feel like they're like a strong person because I feel like someone here sort of like plays into a lot of temptation. You know, if there was a cookie jar, you know, someone eats all the cookies in the cookie jar. If someone sees like, you know, someone that's incredibly hot at the bar, um, like someone has to bonk that person, you know? So let's see, why is heal here? Heal, heal, look at that, Sagittarius. There you are with temperance. And the eight of wands. So that, that's more Sagittarian energy here. So I'm feeling like someone needs to take that time to do the inner work, to heal their traumas. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands and a Ten of Wands for me represents trauma that you've accumulated throughout your life that is weighing you down, that is holding you back. Why is Bay Chakra here? Two of Cups. So I'm feeling like this has always affected a lot of your relationships. Your relationships with, you know, yourself, um, your family, your friends, partners. I'm, I'm getting a self-sabotaging energy from someone here. So I feel like when things are going great, I feel like someone is so not used to it. They have to ruin it so that there is some sort of safe, because some, I mean, I'm feeling like this trauma or feeling unsafe is all that someone has known. And I feel like when something's going great, someone just sabotages it to fall back on it because it, 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 there's a safety net of, uh, you know, um, just things being in, you know, discord or disarray or something like that. And, and then someone ends up be, fe feeling alone because of that. All right, let's see what else we have here for you, Sag. Why? Tell me one more. One more for Bay Chakra. The Hangman, Piscean energy here. I feel like when things are going great and when the, this trauma or when you feel triggered, when these things come up, uh, you, you hit the pause button. Yeah, you hit the pause button or someone hits the pause button, uh, Sag. Like I said, this is a, just a general reading reading you could apply this to yourself you could apply this to someone that you know or you could apply, apply it to both why is master here give me two for master master and the ace of cups you see i feel like there's a lack of self-love here there's a lack of self-love i just feel like someone here is in this very very pessimistic energy where you know if something's going great I feel like someone would say, oh, it's not going to last. Or like, you know, if someone has a job interview, you know, I'm not going to get it. Or, you know, it's always thinking the worst. So this is some, this is like a flight or flight response because there is a lack of safety here. There's a lack of safety. So there, so when that happens, uh, there is this energy of always like self-sabotaging yourself. Yeah. So one more for master. One more from, you see, this was on the bottom of the deck before. So it's showing up again. So this is showing me that there needs to be healing here. Healing, um, sort of like to build up your self-confidence, sort of like sitting comfortably with yourself. Because I feel like we have someone here that feels unsafe. And it's, someone here is always looking for people to be around them. And once they find these people, once they find these safe individuals to be around, it's uncomfortable for someone. And I feel like someone here has to ruin it. You see, I feel like someone here has some sort of childhood issues. I feel like someone here has been betrayed many, 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 many times by parental figures, perhaps a mother, a father, grandparents, aunts, uncles, something along those lines. Yeah, you know, I feel like someone here is trying to escape. Someone here is trying to escape their pain. 
I'm getting codependency here too. So nine, so the nine, this nine here is called, this is well-deserved. So this is like the nine of pentacles in the tarot. Yeah, there's a stagnant energy here. There's just a stagnant energy. There's like a, a sense of feeling defensive all the time, feeling defensive, combative all the time. So Sagittarius, let me know what you think about this reading. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think, feel, what I could add. If you want me, me to do more of this, uh, like this video, share it. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.